Okay guys, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the air box and the mass air meter as one assembly. We're going to remove these or loosen these two. If I can find it in the picture. There we go. 10 millimeter nuts. Disconnect the electrical connector. And the clamp around the throttle body. Once the air box and mass air meter assembly is out of the picture, then you want to disconnect your electrical connector there on the pump and then you can set out to start disconnecting your lines from the ABS pump itself. Now I do not have the exact line wrench but I found that the Eleven millimeter wrench is a nice, perfect fit. Just be careful not to round off the edges of the uh, the fitting there. And you will have one nut. Yeah, well, you would have to get to, and it's below the uh, front of the pump here. See if you can see it in there. Load it. You see it. Right there. And that's all that holds it in place. This one nut and then the uh, the lines themselves that connects to the uh, pump and it should come right out. Okay guys, here's what you're going to need to remove the pump from the car. You're going to need 11 millimeter, 12 millimeter, and 13 millimeter wrenches. The 11 millimeter wrenches uh, are going to work on all but one of the brake lines. The center brake line, which is about right here, 11 millimeters is going to work at the top, on the bottom, aft or rear, and then on the bottom forward brake line. In the center brake line, that's going to require the 12 millimeter wrench. Then you're going to need the 11 millimeter, of course, over on this side here, and then in the front, that's where you're going to need the 13 millimeter. And once they're loose, it comes right out. Okay, guys, here's the ABS pump. It didn't take me no more than 10 minutes to take it out. Uh, all I have to do now is remove this bracket and transfer it to the other pump. All it does is hold the connector in place. The Actually... I don't have to take that off. The one I have does already have one on there. So, uh, simple remove and replace and bleed the brakes. Um, these little rubber stoppers here on the front, they sit in a little cutout. Uh, let's see if you guys can see it down in there. So, when you go to put it back in, you want to make sure that you get the little rubber stoppers pushed in there and then the the nut that goes on the front, you want to make sure that it slides down in that little bracket. Connect your brake lines, snug them down, and then of course bleed the brakes. So, let me get it done.
Okay guys, a little tech tip for you. Um, when you go to put the uh, pump back in and tighten this uh, nut down here on the center, actually that nut is just attached to a rotor grommet. And what happens is when you go to try to tighten it, the whole thing spins. So what you have to do is get a small pair of vice grips. And then just hold it with the vice grips while you snug the nut down on the front. And that's all it takes to uh, uh, tighten this up on the front. Uh, the same thing may happen when you go to take it off. So have a little small pair of vice grips handy so you can grab hold to that. And of course you have the uh, 14 millimeter wrench that uh, now that's on mine. Mine's a 96 model, so unless something has changed, uh, 14 millimeter nut. Um, I'm gonna show you. And it's in there. Took about the same amount of time to put that one in as it did to take one out. So no more than 10 minutes. So now uh, I'm gonna tighten that nut up that I just showed you, and uh, I'm gonna bleed the system. Oh, my reason for replacing mine was my uh, ABS light was on my dash and I had took it to the local community college and I had them run some tests on it and uh, they said it was a bad connection somewhere that it wasn't getting voltage. I went on uh, YouTube and there's actually a video out there. I uh, can't remember the guy's name right now but when I finish I will look him up to give you all that information. He actually shows how to uh, take the bottom off the, the, the cover off the bottom of it and repair it uh, which I will do a video of that myself also. So uh, pretty much that's my reason for replacing it. They said it was no power. I, I was given this one. I disconnect the um, connector there and plugged it in and the ABS light went out. So that confirmed to me that you know the one that I was replacing was a good one so now all I have to do is just bleed the system on it alright alright fellas I'm all done everything was done within an hour it could probably be done even in less time that's removing replacing and bleeding the brakes provided you got everything in place the car already up on jacks stands and all that you know the wheels off uh, this is just to show you. Uh, right now the car is not running. And I'm going to crank it up.